I'm, oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't see that coming. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching you season two, episode nine. Yeah, nine. Now, in the last episode, it was basically Joe trying to do his due diligence before he leaves, but Forty dragged him along. Forty kidnapped him, basically. Brought him to this hotel to write his damn script. It's like, okay, what the, like, dude, Forty so extra, but we got to learn a lot about Joe because, you know, Forty gave, drugged him with LSD. And so Joe basically confronted his demons right there. And we learned a bit about Forty too. So Forty, through writing the script on Beck's book, he actually found out it wasn't Dr. Nikki that killed Beck. Cause that's what it said in the book. No, it was the ex-boyfriend. You know, and like, it's funny because Forty doesn't know the ex-boyfriend is in that, is in, was in that room with him right there. Forty only knew that it was a crime committed out of lo love, I guess, because he did the same thing, right? He did the same thing with the girl he was in love with when he was younger. He, and then he found out she was seeing this dude in college or whatever, and then he, he killed her. Which, okay, I'll never understand that. Like, if you love her, I get, like, you love her so much, you want to kill her. Like, all right, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, Joe finally got away from 40, and then he went to go check on Delilah to, like, you know, whatever, let her free so he can clear his conscious, and she was already dead. Now, I think, now, two things could have happened. One, she offed herself. I don't even know how she could have offed herself, to be honest. Like, you're stuck like the, I mean, I guess you take, like, the sharpest ob object you possibly can and just, or you, you know, you cut your wrist, I don't know. Like, something like that, but, or she, since her hand was in the handcuff, like this, hold, like, her body weight holding it down, I don't know, it could have cut her wrist and then she bled out. I have no idea. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. I'll early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Okay, so his dad was killed. I'm pretty sure that's his actual that was his actual dad too, not not just a stepdad, because I mean okay, what happened to Delilah? Oh she slit her throat. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. For you, love, this couldn't have been me. She was a threat to us. She could have exposed me, kept me from you. I had her motive. Stop trying to justify her. <laughs> I have to know who killed Delilah. No one broke in and killed her, okay? Who the fuck could it have possibly have been then? Like, who else knows about his storage unit that would have a motive to kill her? That make what? That makes no sense. Face. Oh my god. Ah. Gotta open the eyes. Oh, it actually it doesn't work if the eyes aren't open. Jesus Christ. Oh, keyboard does not work. Shit. So yeah, there was no object she could have offed herself with. I checked. So all right, I was wrong. I should run. The comp's gonna happen fast. Ah! The hell happened last night. Oh, wait, maybe when Joe went out for, um, maybe he did it when he was on acid and, uh, you know, all the LSD in his system. He came back here and did it. I don't know. That's like the only possibility. That's the only thing that like makes sense because no one knows about the storage unit. No one has a motive to kill Delilah. It's, it makes no sense. And it, it's definitely not Will. Uh, hi, I'm looking for Will. It makes no sense. It would be Will. He's all the way. He's not in Manila. He was here yeah. killing Delilah. No, no, no. Oh, no, he's there. He's there. Will! Oh. Why would he come back and kill Delilah? The, the, that makes no sense. He has no reason to kill her. I can help. Why do you want to help me? We all hmm. just got to try and do the decent thing moving forward. Dude, Will's a good dude, bro. Will's a good dude. But let's say when it's in your hand, it dies anyway. And you don't know if it's your fault. But the, the point is you, you wanted it to live you have someone in your cage <laughs> who is now dead but you don't think you killed them mm -hmm. well you killed them by keeping them in the cage they were never in the cage they wouldn't have died but i was going to let her go i don't think you'd kill someone you intended to keep alive i really feel like i i would not have done this i believe you only you know who you really are whether you really wanted to let that spider go or not. Yeah, see, it had to be Joe on LSD and acid who came back here 
and did it because Forty did say he was gone for like three hours. It's who Joe truly is. He's a killer on the inside. He's in the deep down. He's a killer. He cannot run it. And he knew deep down he couldn't trust Delilah if he let her go. I think I did this to you. I'm you going did. to prove I did. <sighs> you did. Find out who did. It was you. When he was on LSD, his subconscious was coming out. He is who he really was. And so he went and did it because he knows deep down he can't he can't let her out. Even though the good person, I guess the good person inside of him wants to let him out. He knows deep down he can't. And the fact that he hasn't considered, oh, maybe when I was on LSD and when I went to go get the moon juice, I'm, I might have came here. Because if I'm wrong about that, he would have brought that up and gave us a reason why that couldn't have been the case. But the fact that the show writers didn't put that in there. They want us to forget about that moment, I feel like. They're not reminding us of it. Watch, I'm just completely wrong, too. It's someone someone else actually came in and killed her. I'll be shocked because I have no idea who could have done it. I'd go anywhere for you thing. I, I meant that. I, but we're not going. Uh, but now that I'm sober, <laughs> can we just slow down that part a little bit? Of mm -hmm. course. Does this mean you're not screwing my sister anymore? <gasps> Four types of acid working your way out of his system. Oh my god. You were on Ellie. acid last night? That's hey, your brother drugged me, dog. Thus, I kept him out of trouble. Okay, but where is he? Is he okay? I can't mm -hmm. believe you didn't mention anything. 40s. Bro, I couldn't talk. <laughs> I'm getting the car when I left the hotel like an hour ago. Speaking of missing people, anyone see my sister? No. I just wanted to show her this death threat she got. What? Let me Ooh. see. Oh, oh, oh. This is awful. Because of the article. Oh, okay, yeah, she published the article. Some Henderson crazy followed me to the cage. His throat because she showed them who he really was. To the police? I will. Okay, I did think about that. What about what she's doing with Henderson? But then I thought she never, like, published anything yet. I thought, like, I know she was talking about it and she was going to. But I just didn't know she done it. she's done it by now. He's never gonna hurt us again. Oh, what the hell? What, what, where'd you, how'd you get that? When you jumped out of the window into the Wait, dumpster? Asshole. Oh, oh, what the f- Calvin. Three. If you cannot stop sobbing, just drink. Moon juice. We're gonna go to a Navarin? I left while I was tripping. Went yeah. to a Navarin. Which yeah. says I didn't make a detour to murder. Now watch, Joe's gonna debunk why he didn't kill Delilah while he's on LSD, so. I hope she's okay. Why would you say that? Well, her sister, Ellie, mentioned she hadn't seen her either. Apparently that article she wrote, it's got a lot of Hendy fans stirred up. Supposedly some real sickos have been DMing her. Even broke into Henderson's place and tried to stab mm. him a while back. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you know all this. Throw him off the Joe could have killed Hendy. Statistics force me to consider Officer Douchebag as a suspect. Too often, it's the jealous boyfriend. Spurned lover. Nah, he's a, he's a cop. Why would he kill her? No. Bro, I mean, like, I guess same reason why Forty killed his girl and why Joe killed Beth. Like, no, 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 no. Not him, no. He's sane. He's a normal functioning human being. He's not, no. He didn't kill her, no. Joe and Forty are a bit messed up, so. 1118. How do I know that? Because you didn't turn the alarm off. Mm, uh, when did I leave? Oh, uh, you were all on me about Cheetos. Like, we carry that in. Mm. For Delilah. Had to be flaming hot. Ah, yeah. so you do remember some fun stuff. For Delilah. You kept mm hmm Max for the basement. You kept asking me where the door was. I was like, California. <laughs> no basements. The basement. True, dude. I live in California. I fucking wish I had a basement, dude. Uh, which is why I didn't say anything last night, but you need to pay the store back, even when 40's with you. 40 was mm. with me. If 40 was with me, I would avoid the storage unit at all costs. Why? None of the food for Delilah was there. I never went. Maybe he never got the food and then he went there anyway. I don't know. The punchline obviously is that my dad died. Damn. Sorry. You don't have to pretend with me. Holy shit. How could I forget? My well, we also want you to know we're here to ease your burdens. Your secrets are safe with us. And just what is it your parents think they know about me? What the hell did I tell 40 last night? I don't think Joe told him anything. They're just saying in general, like, well, you keep 40 secret, we'll keep anything of yours. Wait, that is that one of the flowers in the cage? 40. No. 
No. Then I had to give up on you and leave town. Would forty mm. kill to keep us together? Where did we go after an Avrin? What was that? Mm. It's kind of a blur. He's lying. Why mm -hmm. is he lying? We stopped mm. somewhere. It's such a blur. I don't really know. Um... Dude, no, no. Are you okay? No, he's embarrassed about something else. I would never have done it if it weren't for you. It was him. I'm like what? really, really mm. sorry. I did. I was with Candace last night. But yeah, it's something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was something else. Bro, maybe Candace did it. He has no idea what happened. I. He didn't do it. He dropped mm. me off and then went to screw Candace. You, we were only sexting now and again. Motive. I had. I thought she completely left LA. I guess she's still around. Okay, and like redheads. You know, I just figured, what's the harm? What's the harm? There's a lot of harm in redheads, bro. How could you leave me for her? I'm really, really so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> he sounded so hurt when he said that. It's good acting. Unless this was Candace. Some yeah. elaborate plot yeah, to set, set you up. me up. But why? Mm -hmm. Kill Delilah. Why yeah, just kill me? She had her chance. It's too obvious. So she can frame him for killing Delilah. So he'll suffer in jail. But I don't think Candace did it. There's no way. Take this. It had to be Joe, bro. It... Hey, you. You need to get over here now. The At least fuck? Out. Oh. <laughs> Delilah's not responding. Stay the hell away from me. Sid, stay the hell away from me! <laughs> It's just me. It's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. It's always gonna be a mess. My whole fucking life. Why won't she respond to my texts? She's never left me alone this long before. I ain't nothing happened to her. You don't know that. She was falling away from me. I could tell. Why? What's wrong with me? It's not you. I mean, dude, it's really hard for Ellie to not feel like that. Yeah. Don't ever think that. I know what you see, love. A good man. But I have my doubts. So Candace, what the f- wait. Oh my god. You are a genius, Forty Quinn. Now oh, the script. Well, yeah, Candace knows it was Joe anyway. And Forty just wrote the story to prove it. If Joe hadn't booty called Delilah, I would not Mmm. The manager from his place? That Delilah? See, he's right. You are all about him, and you were just using me. Wait, Joe said that? Else would you still be here after my sister paid you to go? I am mm. trying to protect you. <sighs> if you had a brain, in the lines of your own script and see that you cracked the case. The hot sculptor boyfriend who got jealous and killed Beck and framed Dr. Nikki. Good job. It's Joe. If Dr. Nikki is so innocent, why don't you take your theory to him? He wouldn't talk to me. No one will. Hard when everyone sees you as the crazy ex. Maybe ask yourself why that is. Is it about Joe fucking Goldberg? No one can see him for what he is. Careful. Mm -hmm. You're talking about my family. Ooh. Don't come crying to me when he kills your sister. <sighs> Yeah, bro, love some borrow time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Mm, yep. He's gonna research Dr. Nikki now. Forty might be able to get a hold of him, talk to him himself. Joe used an alias when he was his patient. So Dr. Nikki can't be like, yeah, I, Joe was my patient or whatever, and tell him anything. Amy. Will's ex. Yep, no, Candace is gonna know Delilah's not here. Del Ellie's gonna talk to her. Candace is gonna know that Delilah's missing. And she's like, fuck. So then Candace is gonna try and prove that Joe did it. Because Candace is gonna know automatically Joe killed her. So. Oh, what was this video about to show us? Anyway, so don't go. Oh, the storage unit! But she doesn't know which unit it's Joe and how uh, she's gonna have to break into every single unit one by one. There's no, no. Or she could just camp outside of the storage unit, follow Joe inside 
from a distance and see which one he goes into, then break into it later. Ooh, fuck, she. Fuck how the fuck did she find him? Oh, how did she? I guess she did follow him. I guess whatever. It was just a matter of time. This isn't mm. what it looks like. I didn't do this. Oh, funny. Bro, it's exactly what it looks like. Unlock it. I can't fucking see. Now! Bro, you got that muscle memory of your passcode. I don't even have to look at my phone, I can enter it in. I think they might believe me this time. Ew. Thought love might like to come and see what you've done. Sucks to have someone pretend to be you, doesn't it, Joe? Bro, bro, this could easily look like she just threw him in here, whatever, then mace the fuck out of him, you know? To frame him, like... If I kill this woman, then I deserve this. I thought I only ever acted from a place of love. Oh my fucking god. To protect. No, bro. I'm gonna show you who you really are. Mm-hmm. He's a killer. Have I been fooling myself? Yes. <laughs> Refusing to face who I really am. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, and Joe killed his dad. Damn, so this is Joe's first kill. Wow. What am I? A fucking psychopath, bro. Like a sociopath. What did you do? Don't you what he did to me. She's gonna blame it on Candace, like... You... Let him out of there. No. This asshole is going to be in a cage for the rest of his life. Call the cops. Dude, watch love, watch love do something, like, just beat up Candace. You're crazy! Yeah! Tell her you didn't do this! Yeah, Joe could play this off, but... I did. Oh, he's taking accountability, damn. She's right. Everything she said about what I did is true. I'm sorry. Bro, watch this be part of the trip, so, like, he's still... He's still on a trip, and it's just gonna cut to him waking up at the end of the episode. I blamed it all on her. But that was a lie, like so many others. Because yeah, he's confessing right here. I never knew love until I met you. I would do anything for you. I just want. Well, she can't fucking believe this. You know how hard this would be to process? I couldn't face the truth because I didn't want to lose you. I did this. Bro, th this can't be real. He still has to be on the trip because if this is real right here, Joe's going to jail and that's end of the shelf. Is this? How I was always destined to end. Could things have gone any differently? If I'd walked into a different bookstore. Am I to you? You're an asshole. One not run by okay. a Soviet prison guard. She never met Mooney. If I'd had different parents. You were protecting me. It had to be done. You're a good boy, Joey. Yeah, I see where you get. It had to be done. I was protecting you. Yeah, that's how he justifies it now, too. To every word I say, mm. you would never hurt anyone. And that's the truth. Never. Much less kill someone. A terrible accident. I'm done with excuses for the things I've done. Wait, doesn't Joe know how to get out of the bookcase? I once told Beck I learned a lesson when Mooney locked me in. Yep. <laughs> Hide, despair, <laughs> Yep. Yeah. God, leave me alone. But it's time I take responsibility. I don't think it is. Because then the show would be over. For my crime. I'm <gasps> oh! Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> fucking A, love. I didn't fucking see that coming. So now, yeah, Joe dropped the key out. And love's gonna go back for Joe. Wow. Dude, I was gonna say, if Joe got out of the book, got out of the cage, whatever, right? He'll kill Candace, for sure. But love, I mean, I'm sure he'd kill her eventually, but like that's over completely. But no, this is how they make it keep going. Okay. She's fucked up just like him. Where's Candace? <laughs> Took care of her. Now watch, Joe's not gonna like the fact- Took care of it. Just not gonna like the fact that she did that. Wow, 
okay, what a fucking episode, dude. Oh my god. All right, well, that was season two, episode nine. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't expect love to do that at all. But I mean, I was like, well, there is a season three, I guess. So but then I was also like, well, he could just find a new girl, but no, nah, they gotta do something different. They gotta do something different. And like, there's not enough tension for Joe to kill love in the next episode anyway. So that's definitely not gonna happen. So yeah, this is like the only way to really go, I guess. I feel like Joe's not gonna like the fact that love killed Candace, or he's gonna find it insanely romantic that she's willing to go as far as he is willing to go for the sake of love. Probably the second option, actually. Definitely the second option. We still never found out, like, what happened to Delilah, too. I, I'm, I'm gonna say Joe killed her. In his trip, he killed her. He had to, dude. He had to. He's the only one who knows where that storage unit is. He's the only one who has a key to get in. I don't even know how Candace got it. I don't, like, I'm, I guess Candace must have, like, followed him there. Whatever, saw what unit he was in. But there was, like, too much of a time delay, I feel like. I don't know, maybe she, like, followed him there, watched him go in the unit, and then she, like, took, I don't know, took her time, like, prepared, and then went in, I don't know. Wait for him to, like, be busy doing something, so, I, I don't know. But yeah, Candace is dead, oh my god, holy shit. Alright, well, I feel like a good chunk of Joe's trauma came from his mother, right there, because when he killed his dad, right there, which, pretty sure that was his dad, like, I went on that rant earlier in the beginning, could have been, whatever, could have been a stepdad, whatever. Joe killed him to protect his mom, right, and that's what his mom said, you did it to protect me, it was an accident, and so that's what Joe has been saying since season one. Ah, since he killed Benji and Peach, I did it to protect you. He took it and he ran with that. It makes, everything makes sense now. It makes sense. You know who I really feel bad for? is Ellie. She has nothing now, dude. Like, we learned about her parents. Her dad passed away. Her mom, not a good person. She's probably gonna have to go back and live with her mom now. And all she had was her sister Delilah and she is gone now. And Ellie is just, she's distraught because she's she knows she has nothing now. I feel so bad for Ellie, dude. It's Joe's fucking fault, like, whether or not somebody else killed Delilah, it's Joe is still the cause of why she died. Because if he never brought her in this goddamn cage, never locked her in, she wouldn't have died. But then again, you can go back even further and say, well, if she never was snooping around, went into the storage unit in the first place, then he never would have locked her in there, I, I guess. But then you could really go back to Fincher and be like, well, if Fincher never told her what he told her over the phone in the last episode, she never would have had reason to look in the first place. It never would have sparked her interest. So really, this is the cop's fault. The cop killed her, I guess. For following Joe's logic, the cop killed her. So, okay, obviously not, but like still, that's that's Joe's logic. So, okay, now I don't really see Joe killing love. Him, maybe at the end of like season three or something. The guilt is gonna catch up to love pretty quickly and the next episode is when it's gonna hit her that she actually killed someone and and then she's gonna be like oh my god what did i do blah blah and then joe's gonna like try and calm her down and then they're gonna like quote unquote move on from this but i feel like the guilt love is gonna feel is gonna linger throughout the next season and then the tension kind of builds up from there something like that right then maybe joe kills somebody else again and then love's like okay no this is too far and then they like then that's where the tension starts and then joe has to kill her because i mean that's why joe killed beck is because beck found out about peach killed benji and peach so he killed Beck for that reason now like he's not gonna kill love for her knowing that he killed delilah because she just killed candace so it's like so i think joe kills again and then love's like yo that's that's too far I, like i can't be with you if you're just gonna murder everyone to protect me or whatever and then that's where the tension starts so that's what i think but anyways comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching